Hello again people, it has been a very long time since I've done any kind of videos, pickups or anything. Uh, if you saw me on the Christmas <laughs> stream for the um, Secret Santa, you can tell I had no voice. It's still coming back, but yeah. So, there's been a lot of factors that have stopped me doing any pickups because I wasn't picking anything up really. But we'll get back into this. I've got a lot of stuff now. Um, let me crack a drink because I think I'm going to need it. What do I have? I've got a... An imported Mountain Dew Frostbite. That's right. Okay, so yeah, this will be a couple of months before Christmas. Christmas, anything I've bought since randomly. So yeah, let's crack on with this. Some of this I've shown in other places, but never mind. This shows how far back this went. We've been doing our 52 game challenge. I picked up a copy of uh, Donkey Kong Country 3. Uh, was it Dixie Kong's Double Trouble? Yeah, we I beat this uh, for the stream to talk about it. Um, it's not the, the best game. It's not the worst game. It, it was all right if you want to know anything about it. Go back and watch the stream on, uh, on Eddie's channel. But it's quite a bit to get through. So we will we'll just, just keep going, shall we? <clears throat> um... I haven't got much order to this. I think I've just separated the Christmas stuff. So, uh, I got from Limited Rare Games a copy of Super Blood Hockey, which uh, I haven't yet played. This might be pretty good. I think it's just a really violent hockey game. But yeah, it was. I, I'm determined to get the Super Rare set. So, Super Rare, Limited Rare, Limited Rare Games. So yeah, missing missing one from their. Uh, their collection, which is a uh, Tamashi, and that's stupid expensive. Uh, this is one that was put into uh, one of the WhatsApp groups ages ago. I think it was by, it might be Dylan, uh, Hypertrogax, who put it in, saying that this was, I think it was £8. It's the steel book of uh, Yakuza, like a dragon. I haven't got around to this either, still sealed. But I know it's, I think it's on Game Pass, but I'd rather have a, 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 a physical copy of it. I will apologise, the lighting's bad in here. I didn't really have time to set it up. I'm just doing this real quick while I've got a couple of minutes. <clears throat> Hopefully I won't cough too much as well. <clears throat> also, a while ago, I picked up a case for uh, WWE Day of Reckoning 2. Um, I got hold of a, a disc for it. I think it was £13 or something on eBay. So this cost me £13.50, I think, to complete. So not too bad. I was in a uh, game just to see what they had, and I thought, Jesus, there's a game in there for 99p. I don't have a physical of it, I'll grab it, which was a uh, Crackdown 3. I went, is there much point taking up space on the shelves for, for 99p? Um, and he went, oh, if you, if you think that's good, I've got a load of these at the back that are brand new, but they're scanning through at 49p, but they were going to take them apart or something and put them for as pre-owned as it opened up and they could put the price up. But yeah, brand new for 49p. Got a copy of Halo Wars 2. So, <laughs> absolute bargain of a day. <laughs> Haven't played that either. Um, actually, these these next two, um, as you know, I, I stream a little bit on Twitch uh, and I got a little bit of money from it. And I thought I would buy some stuff that I'd stream again, uh, which I have streamed both of these. Um, I completed this one, which was the Crew Motorfest. This is a genuinely good game. I really enjoyed this. It's kind of like a cross between Need for Speed and Forza Horizon is how it plays. Um, it was really good. It was actually a really easy completion as well. So I'm hoping they bring some DLC out for it. And the other one I bought with that little bit was a Lego 2K Drive, which then this became free on PlayStation Plus and ah, ah well. But it's pretty good. It's a little um, Lego like open world kart racer. Again, it reminds me of Forza Horizon, but in Lego, even though that already exists in Forza Horizon. But this is a more kart racer-y kind of one. It's quite good. I genuinely quite like that as well. I haven't finished all the achievements, but I think I've done all the races on it. <clears throat> right, let's get some drink in me and see if this gets rid of my croakiness. Oh, sugar. Um... Yeah, I bought 
some random bits of I thought ah oh, now I've got a little bit of money again which wasn't fun when I didn't uh, <laughs> uh, I buy a couple of N64 games actually no these might have been credit okay it was so long ago but it's ones that I didn't have uh, this is one that I used to play a lot growing up but I, I, I never owned it but now I do it was uh, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire it's uh, the first level where you play the like the Battle of Hoth, is it? And that's what like Rogue Squadron is um, spin off from. But I always remember the level where it's uh, I don't know. There's a big white beast thing. They Wampas. What the hell are they called? I don't know Star Wars, but I enjoyed it. I never beat it though, so I want to go back and give this a go and try beat it. And this this came off eBay, and it's a super clean copy. To be honest with you, it was. I can't remember why very expensive, like fifteen quid or something. Something like that. But yeah, it was complete, so. Yeah, we got a bit of retro to show, so it, it, it's good. Don't don't often do that. Um, I also bought this. This came from CEX as well. No, that didn't come from CEX. That was eBay. This was CEX. See, I can't remember. So long ago. Uh, I bought a copy of Star Shot. Star, is it Superstar Circus? Circus? Space Circus Fever. It's a little uh, platformer where you play as like a, is he like a little trapeze artist or something? I can't remember. But um, this came actually came complete with the the manual and everything. Pretty nice condition from CEX. So I've I had a manual for this already, so I wasn't too worried about it showing up like without one. But I've since passed the manual on to someone I know who might might have use from it. So yeah, this is supposed to be really bad. I just have a really bad camera. I haven't played it yet. I'm gonna start coughing, so there might be a jump cut. Yeah, that one from. Yeah, I'll definitely jump cut that. <laughs> um. Also from CEX, I bought a copy of Snowboard Kids, um, but the box was worse than this one. <laughs> this is uh, one that's been sent to me by Jim Coban. He sent me a box where I've cleaned it up a little. But yeah, now I have a boxed copy. To be honest, I had a boxed copy before, but it was worse than that. Not only that, he sent me... It's a really tatty box, but I'm, I'm not too fussed if they're tatty. As long as they are... Complete with a manual and a box. He sent me a box for Quake 2. So, yeah. It's it's, it's a bit crushed a bit. And there's a, there's a chunk missing just down there. But to me, that's that's all good. So he sent me a box for that. And then I bought in CEX a £6 the cart. So, complete copy. Can't, can't go wrong with that. As I said, these types of things, I'm, as long as I've got a box, it'll only be if I ever complete the set that I'll... Uh, I'll go through and like try and go for upgrades and stuff. I just don't like having loose carts everywhere. Like if most of them are boxed, but loose carts annoy me. So at least it keeps them of a uniform size. Then I was in a CEX and I thought this was one of the cleanest Super Nintendo games I'd, I'd ever seen in a CEX. So I had to grab it. And it's one I've always wanted to play. It was Uni Rally. I think this was 25 or 30 quid. Um, it's just a little unicycle racing game, but it's always looked quite entertaining. But yeah, this is complete. It's in surprisingly good nick for something in a CEX. I'm trying to, for some reason, I don't even know what's causing the serious light reflection in here. So, yeah. But yeah, I haven't given that a go yet. But yeah, it's got the little baggy and everything for the, the cart, so don't often add box Super Nintendo games, but that was up at box price and in that good condition. I thought, oh, crap. Um, this was another one I picked up for the 52 game club. Uh, it was Devil Kings. Yeah, I've played this. We haven't done our stream on this one yet, but we're, we're working on trying to get everyone together at the same time. Um, yeah, it's a little... What are they called? M Moose? Mooso games? I don't know. Like Dynasty Warriors where you hack your way through a load of people. It, it's all right. It lasts like two hours to do one character. Um, but if you want to go for 100%, you'd be looking at, like, I think it's like a thousand hours or something. But yeah, it's all right. It, it gets very samey. I did try it with all the other characters, but they, they they didn't seem much different. It wasn't enough to keep me hooked. But I saw the saw to the end of a character. Um, I have cleared out my PS3 collection recently. Uh, just to get some better bits, because I I don't like the PS3. It's not a great console, 
I, something about it, I find it slow and sluggish and annoying. Um, but there are some games I want. I want exclusives uh, and ones that I will play again for trophies, which there isn't that many games I want to double up on. Like I did Need for Speed um, Shift twice. That was good. But um, in a charity shop, these were probably way overpriced, but I thought £3.50 each charity shop. I've got a copy of Medieval Moves. It's probably like a 99p game in CEX. I don't know, not looked into it. But yeah, it's an exclusive with the Move controllers. And one that I've done on the 360, and I wanted to do it again because I genuinely just really enjoyed this. It was Hot Wheels World's Best Driver. I don't think I have this already. Probably do now I've said it, but yeah. I, I just thought this was a genuinely fun game, so happy to do it again. Doesn't mean I have to turn my PS3 on. Don't don't often use it. Um, oh, okay. oh, this was uh, in CEX. A Vita game that I didn't have. Uh, it's a pretty common one. It's uh, Ninjago Nindroids. I think this was like £6. So, yeah. Any Vita games I don't have, I will play and pick up. Even though at the moment my Vita is poorly and it is with another YouTuber. So I don't currently have a Vita. I still have my PS TV that I can play uh, most of the library on. But there's some which are um, like touch screen required all the time and you can't play them on it. But meh. And if my if my Vita is unfixable, I just have to buy another one down the, down the line. Alright, so we'll start getting into... Oh, actually, I'll show you this first. This is something I bought off of eBay. Ah, it was really cheap. I can't remember how cheap. It was really cheap, though. Um, it's something I had as a kid, and I still want to get F and I had as a kid back. It's surprising I don't have it. But, yeah, it's just bizarre little bits like this now I'm looking for, really. Um, it was Bleem for the Dreamcast. It's the Gran Turismo 2 one. Um, basically, yeah, you, it's an emulator for the Dreamcast. Plug that in, swap out a copy of Gran Turismo 2 for the PS1, and it plays on the Dreamcast. And it actually like up reses the textures and stuff. Um, it genuinely does look decent, like it shows on the back there that you can't really tell, it's not focusing. But yeah, I had this. Uh, I can't remember, I might have had the Tekken one. Was there a Tekken one? I definitely had this because I played the hell out of uh, Gran Turismo 2, and I didn't have a PS1 at that point in time. But this is how I played it. Not that I really need that anymore, because I just play it on the, the PC with uh, better textures, but... Eh. Okay, so... With... When it came to the YouTube Secret Santa, I'll show you what I got on that as well. I've got, I've got a guess of who it might be, but I don't know. But I got some cat ear headphones. Oh yes, I'm going to be streaming with these bad boys on. Looking suave. <laughs> so, that's amazing. And along with them, I got a copy of Evil West. Uh, I think this is coming as the PS Plus game next month. But yeah, this just looks interesting. I remember seeing it and thinking I I'd like to give that a go. I think uh, Georgie Slasher says it plays just a bit like a, like a PS3 game, basically. And I know Gordon was enjoying it. Uh, but I think he lost his save, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I'm gonna gonna give this one a go. Um, I'm gonna be doing my New Year new game thing in January, so I'm gonna be streaming a new game to me every month in January. So a lot of these might get played. So yeah, Evil West, that and some cat ears. That's definitely happening. Sorry about that. Another jump cut. I'm coughing to death today. So. On to things I got for Christmas then. Uh, up first is a game that I have not stopped playing since I got it again. Uh, I completed the Xbox version of this. And now I'm on the PS5 one. Which is Power Wash Simulator. I love this. Turns out this was also on PS Plus. And I'd already... Uh, well, the PS4 version I think it is. So it was on PS Plus the month that I got this. But I'll do the PS5 one. Then I'll do the PS4 one as well. Um, as long as it doesn't glitch and keep any trophies from me uh, which apparently it does do but love it every second of this I've I've almost done it again love it all right I got a Amazon voucher I think it was 
and I bought two games. Um, so I got the Cotton reboot. I actually never played any of the Cotton games, but I do like shooters, so I'm look looking forward to this. It's like a cute em up, um, horizontal in it, where you're on a, a little witch on a broom shooting shit. So yeah, I thought I'd give that one a go. Okay, back again. And then this one is Martha is Dead. I know that this isn't actually the best way to play this, I don't think. This is censored, the PS4 version. Um, I think there's a scene where somebody's face gets degloved or something, and Sony were like, no, you can't have that. But if you play this on the Xbox, apparently it's completely uncensored. But I don't know if there's a physical of it, so... Plus, I want to get all the PS4 horror games. I don't know. I think this might be more puzzly walking simulator kind of game. Why? Why am I getting so much glare on this now? Why? Probably because that's... It's because I left off and sealed, didn't I? But they only turned up yesterday. Um, then we'll go with... I got uh, a another PS4 horror game called uh, Infliction. It's a Christmas present one. All this stuff's going to be Christmas presents, I think, now. This is... I'm pretty sure it's a... A game where you're, like, trapped in an apartment... And there's a ghost that keeps killing you over and over. But, yeah, looking forward to it. It looks quite fun. Stupid. Okay, if I put it there, maybe you can kind of see what they are. Yeah, Infliction. Looking forward to that one. Might be one of the old streaming bad boys. Uh, Santa was very nice to me. I don't know why. So, <laughs> uh, we got Digimon Rumble Arena the Rumble Arena 2 on the GameCube. So, yeah. I want to get as many GameCube games as I can. Um, I've never actually played any of the Rumble Arenas. I, I think they're just like fighting games. But I'll give it a go. I think everything everything here is complete. So, good. double check. Yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure everything, everything is complete. But, yeah. I'm going to look forward to that. I've played Digimon... There's one on the 360. There's like a Smash Brothers clone. I don't know if it's like that. Um, this is one that I've played a demo of years ago, but I haven't played the full game. So I might have to give this a go. Full game is Cell Damage on a GameCube. It's a uh, Twisted Metal Vigilante 8 style cell shaded cartoon combat game. Um, yeah, it's, it was the demo I played was really good at this. So looking forward to giving that a proper go. This is one I'm really excited for, and I'm hoping it works with my racing rig. <laughs> it's a truck driver. Yeah, it's a truck driving simulator. I've played a couple of truck racing games. They've been bad, but I think this is genuinely hauling stuff around, and I'm looking forward to that. I love my crap simulators. Uh, then we've got Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX on the Switch. I haven't actually ever played any of these they're a spin-off of some other series aren't they um like a mystery dungeon kind of game and they do kind of like how dragon quest gets like the dragon quest warriors and then hyrule warriors they're, they're like a different style of game i can't remember what it is is it um it's like azure dreams is that what it's called where you just go into like a a tower kind of thing and you keep grinding like little dungeons to get stuff to i don't know i do have Another mystery dungeon game on the Game Boy Advance, I think it is. But yeah, I've never played one, but I'm looking forward to playing this. Uh, this is one that I already had, but it was always missing a manual. So I've ended up one with a manual, which is Race Pro. It's a very, to be honest, it's a decent little racer. I completed this ages ago. Um, I remember it being very murky looking, though. Like everything looked like it was set on a gloomy day. But yeah, it's a little... Um, like racing sim it's, it's all right it's pretty good okay one that i another one i've completed before but didn't have in the collection is a pictionary ultimate edition i actually think, think this is the only one that isn't complete i don't think this is a manual yeah no manual on that one so i'm looking for a manual for pictionary ultimate edition <laughs> but yeah it's a little you draw tablet game pictionary one um i always thought the you draw tablet was genuinely quite good um I, I wish more games had used it, but yeah, this was quite fun for me, Broly. And one that I used to have, which is not a good game, it's 
a really bad first person shooter, but I think I got this because of it being Christmas time. The Die Hard Vendetta on the GameCube. I remember this being so janky. I remember, can you throw people through glass on this or something? I don't know. I, I, I couldn't beat it like when I tried. I need to go back and do this. I, I played this when I originally when I had the GameCube. I'll probably get that sticker off of it, shouldn't I? But yeah, I'll, I'll happily give it another go. Then we got, oh no, this is one that I got a gift voucher from work. So I bought this. It was a Proteus, is that how it's pronounced? It's a um, like boomer shooter, they call them now, don't they? So yeah, it's kind of plays like Doom, I think, like real fast paced shooter. But I, I didn't know anything about it. I, I couldn't find anywhere to spend the, the gift voucher. So in the end, I spent it on Argos and this was the only game I could get and one that I didn't have. So give it a go. Oh, I can't even remember what this is called. I might have to put it at the bottom of the screen. It's something, something Forte, something FF, something. It's a Vita game anyway. I think it's a a remake of a PSP game. Um, it's part what they call are they a Tomy game? So they're made for women to <laughs> kind of romance with men, basically. But yeah, I think you, it's like a top-down RPG, but it's more just talking to get visual novel elements and maybe learning some music or something. I don't know. It's all all in Japanese, so. But going for that full Vita set, it was needed. I genuinely had never heard of this until I opened it. So it's going to be a bit different in it. I don't think I'll get very far in it, but we'll see. And I've got a couple other bits here. Uh, going two things for the PS2 horror uh, subset. Um, ones I didn't have. Blood Rain. Yeah, it's a little adventure, like, vampire game. I don't know if I've ever played it, or if I did, I played a demo of it or something. But, yeah, there's there's a remake of this or something, isn't there? I don't know. But I'll happily give Blood Rain a go, maybe in the, maybe in the streams. And that also came with Blood Rain 2. So, that's two more knocked off of the PS2 horror set. Um... To be honest, I didn't realise need, I needed these, but I did. Uh, my nephew bought me uh, two games for the Switch. So thank you, Ron. Thank you. Uh, he got me Five Nights at Freddy's The Core Collection. I've played one and two, uh, but I think it's like five games on here. Um, I will actually give the others a go. I will stream them. I'm not very good at them uh, at all. Um, anything management-y I suck at, so we'll give it a go. I don't, I, I imagine the others kind of play the same. I know they do shoot off into like 3D kind of games, don't they? But I think that's not on there. It's like one called Security Breach or something it's like that. And <laughs> one that I'll have to give a go again. I've completed this on the Xbox, but I'll, I'll give it another go. I never actually played it online, which is uh, Gang Beasts. It's like a... Uh, like a physics based brawling like arena game where you kind of like you control it a bit like human full flat or something and the idea is i think is you knock each other off the stage or something I remember it being really bizarre <laughs> but i will give this a go i'll play this online and, and see what it's like um yeah never played the switch i played the xbox one because it was on game pass so then we have we'll go to these couple of last couple of games in a minute um I did get something. I've got a keyboard because I... Oh, I'll explain why. I've got the 8-bit dough wireless uh, keyboard. But this is the, the Famicom one. Because it's got these two... Where is it? That's like two buttons. I can put these on the floor and use them with my feet. Like pedals was my plan. Uh, so that I could play DJ Max with eight buttons. But use my feet instead of my hands as well. But it works pretty well. But yeah. Didn't get the Famicom one originally. I got the NES one, which I'll put a photo of somewhere up here. But it didn't work. It was absolutely dead on arrival. So 
I got a replacement and they only had that one, not the, the NES one again. But it's all good. It still works. It's actually a really good keyboard when it's working. Just if you get one where half the buttons don't work, like I did, it wasn't much use. But it took me a lot of... Uh, I was talking to the people at 8 but though about it and yeah they they went for a lot of stuff and they they did conclude that it was it was a faulty product for me so all right and the last three but uh more like two i'd say gaming bits uh at first is a ps1 game one i've needed for the horror set on the ps1 um it's a bit of a big hair i'm gonna replace the case because there's a slight crack in it but we've got chaos break this is, I've always wanted to play this. It's like a a more sci-fi, janky Resident Evil, I think. Um, but yeah, I've, I've always wanted to play it. Might have to be one for the uh, January streams. But we'll, we'll give it a go. Looking forward to it. Pretty sure. Well, I know where this came from. This came from Retro Chef. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> Oh shit, I don't want to put that there. That's a fool. That's not one I want to drop. And final thing. Like, literally, I don't... I was blown away with everything that... Uh, that Chrissy and my family and everything got me for Christmas. Because I wasn't having a good year. And this this Christmas is uh, definitely... Definitely made up for it. Because, um, I'm again, trying to get F and I had as a kid... I used to have one of these, and I only ever had one game on it. Which I don't have that game, and I'll never have that game again, I'm pretty sure. But I've got a Box 32X. So, yeah. There's, in Power Regions, there's only like 36 games or something for this thing. And they all cost an absolute arm and a leg. So, I, I am going to slowly pick up stuff as and when I see it. But I'm not aiming to to go big on this. I would just love the one game I did have, which was uh, Primal Rage. Um, and if I'd known what that would end up costing, I never would have got rid of it. I think I traded it in for something. Oh, I'm kicking stuff. Stay still. Yeah, I traded it in for something really, really lame. Um, but never mind. And I needed a game to test it with. So I bought from CEX, uh, I think this was like 30 quid, um, was Virtual Racing, which isn't in the greatest shape, but it is complete. Uh, the only real damage is a little bit of crushing, the tabs slightly broken, it's a bit sun faded on the spine. But for the price this was, this is better than the copies that are on eBay. Um, most of them didn't have a manual, so or they were much worse than this. I fold that down, stick that out of protector, that, that'll look all right, wouldn't it? So, yeah. I was absolutely gobsmacked by all the stuff I ended up with. And thank you to everyone. Um, Yeah, it's been a good Christmas. How was everyone else's? Just going to quickly interject here. I, when I was doing the uh, getting ready to edit this, I realised there was something else that I picked up recently and forgot about. This was in a charity shop. It was £25. It's very battered, um, but I thought, yeah, for 25 quid, I'll check it in the collection. It's this Mario um, edition Game Boy Advance SP. So, yeah, it's only the, the top of this that's got some serious scratch into it, but I thought it was cool to add to the collection. It also has in it a dodgy ass copy of Mario Kart Super Circuit. So, yeah, nice and legit looking that, isn't it? <laughs> no it's not but yeah just want to put that in there because I, I forgot about this so back to the video and another thing see I go leave the room find other stuff uh, in a charity shop I came across this Sam and Max save the world for the PC it's still sealed it's a it's from limited run it's actually a pretty expensive game um so yeah i just thought that was bizarre that is it was in their cabinet i was like oh let's have a look at that never never found limited run in a charity shop before 
or limited run PC stuff. Bizarre. Like, that's what I'm going to do with this. I just thought it was cool. So. Alright, last cut that is. That's the last time I'm coming in with something else. I don't know how to end this. Like, <laughs> it's been that long. How do you end videos? I don't know. It's never been my strong point. But anyway, let me know out of them anything there that you think was like a solid gift or anything I should play, anything, anything, just tell me. By the way, I do equally, I say it every time, like a Christmas thing, I do equally spoil people back. I, I don't just take stuff and then don't give stuff back, okay? I, I don't want people to think that because I'm very grateful for the things I receive. So anyway, have fun, people. Going to bugger off and stop talking and try and get my voice back a bit more. So have fun. <laughs>